In the last video, we created this layout for our register activity. Here, if you go to this um, layout and if you have copied from the source code that I provided in the first video description, then if you click on any of this component, you can find that I have assigned the ID for each and every of every one of these component. So for the mobile number, I have assigned the ID as a phone. For these, I have assigned the ID as a next button and so on. There are two hidden fields that is progress bar and this uh, state where we are going to display the message such as sending ODP, logging in and so on. And one more hidden field is this code enter field where we are going to enter the OTP once it is sent through the server. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to assign the XML resources for each and every one of these component that I have created. So I'm going to create the variable for the edit text button progress bar and so on. First, I'm going to start by creating the variable for the Firebase authentication. Firebase auth f auth and for edit text we need this for phone number and uh, let me see we need this edit text for phone number code enter okay so we need two edit text okay we need one button for next and as well as we need progress bar progress bar and we have one text view for the state message to be shown in the view that is state and now i'm gonna assign all these variable with the xml resources that i have we have in activity register.xml file First, I'm going to instantiate the fauth variable that I have created for the Firebase authentication. Firebase auth.get instance. So this is how we are going to create the object of the Firebase authentication module. Okay, class. And uh, for phone number, we need phone for code enter. So these are the variables that we are going to need to be able to register the user. So uh, we also need few others variables, but we are going to register them as we required in the program. Here, uh, first thing we need to do is we need to get the value of this phone number so that we can pass the phone number to the Firebase authentication module and send the OTP to that number, right? So we are going to do every operation once when the phone uh, when the next button is clicked okay so whenever user enter the phone number here and click on next button we are going to process the number and we are going to send that number through the uh, firebase server and we are going to send the otp to that number okay so to do that i first we need to handle the click on the button so and inside that we are going to perform all the operation that we are going to perform in this uh, register activity okay create new on click listener on the button when the button is clicked i'm going to get the phone number from the edit text field and uh, i'm going to verify that it is not empty first let me uh, check that phone number dot get text so this get text method is used to get the value of the uh, edit text field and we need to convert that to a string and I'm going to check that it is not empty. So I'm going to check if it is, is empty. Okay. If the phone number is empty and I'm going to check if the phone number is not empty and phone number is equals to equals to and length of the phone number is phone number is having at least uh, phone number is having length of 10 character uh, characters in it or number in it. We are going to go and perform the other operation. If not, then we um, I'm going to display error to the user that saying saying that phone number is not valid. 
So I can set the error to our edit text field by using set error method of this edit text. Okay, so set error and uh, I'm gonna say the phone number is not valid. When the phone number is valid, I want to create one complete phone number with the country code in it because user is going to type only the number without the country code and using this um, country code picker, we are going to add the append the country code with our number, right? So here uh, we, I have these options for country code picker component here and it is having the ID of CCP. So I'm gonna go here and grab the value of this that com country code picker that user have selected. So let me um, create the new country code picker variable. I'll say code picker, right? So I'm gonna initialize the XML variable value to this country code picker. And if I use this find view by ID with the CCP XML ID that we have given in the register activity xml file right now i want to grab the value of this country code picker and append that to my phone number so to do that uh, inside this i'm going to create one string variable phone num equals to i want to get the variable uh, value of the code picker so i'm going to use the code picker variable dot get selected country code this will uh, retrieve the selected country code plus I want the value of phone number that we have that user has given in the edit text field so and I want to convert that to the to a string convert that to the string but it will give only the country code but we uh, Google Firebase also need the uh, symbol like plus okay so I need to manually add that plus symbol here so that's why I'm going to I'm adding this plus value here now if I go and run this app and uh, show you how this phone number look like so I'm gonna log this here okay so on click phone number and I'm going to print this phone number let me create the tag and I'm gonna Create the constant by using the control plus alt plus C keyboard shortcut in the keyboard. By using this shortcut, we can create the constant, and that is created here. You can see, and using this constant, we can find the message in the log cat. Okay, so I'm gonna run this. Okay, fine. The app is running now, and I'm going to enter any number, any uh, number. It is not of length 10 characters. What happens if I click on next? Yes, it's going to display this error. So now click on next, nothing happens. But if I go to the lock at and uh, select verbose and uh, type tag, it should display the phone number here. You can see because I have selected the country code as 91 here, it is displaying plus 91, 98.9.45.7.8.2.2.4.5. Okay. So yeah, this is the number that we need to pass through the phone, phone authentication method in the Firebase so that we can get the OTP on that particular number. To request the OTP, I will create one custom function here, method here inside this. I'm going to call that method request OTP. This method takes phone number as its parameter. So I'm passing the phone number. Now I'll actually create this method in our uh, register.java class create method in register.java class okay it will automatically create this method for us inside this I'm going to call the phone verif phone authentication class of Firebase so phone auth provider is a class name we need to get the instance and we need to call this verify number method of this phone auth provider now inside this we need to pass few things First thing is we need to pass the phone number. Second is the um, waiting period before we can send the uh, resend the OTP again. If the OTP is not received by the user, user can request the OTP again. 
if after that some method is automatically called and inside that method we can actually handle this uh, resend of OTP okay resending of OTP second thing is we need to pass the time in long format okay so that's why I'm typing the L 60 L and then we need to give the time units okay so time units here I'm gonna give seconds but you can give other values as well like days and hours but generally seconds is enough because we want user to be able to resend the OTP after one minutes and after this we need to select when which uh, activity we are binding the callback that is in the current activity so that's why I'm passing this and now we need to call the on verification state change callback I'll create the new on verification state change callback okay so here uh, automatically two methods are over overridden here first one is on verification completed and the second one is on verification failed if the server is not able to send the OTP to the user this on verification failed method is called so inside this we need to display some message to the user that the verification has been failed cannot create account and I will display the message from the exception that we have from using the get message method this will display the message and the whatever the error that we have got from the Firebase exception on verification completed method is called when the uh, user is automatically verified okay so this phone auth credential is created that means user don't need to type the OTP manually um, you may have seen in some application when the user is say uh, when the server send OTP it is automatically read by the application and it will automatically get verified if that service is available in our phone then this on verification completed method is automatically called but we still need to override few other method to do that we can use the shortcut control O and it will display the two uh, possible method that can be override by these uh, callbacks so we have this on code send and on code auto retrieval timeout I'm going to override both of these uh, method here in this on code send whenever OTP is sent this is going to be called and this on code auto retrieval timeout is going to be called when the uh, OTP is not entered within the given time frame in our case that is 60 second this string as contains the verification ID that we need to verify the user using the OTP that is sent to the user and this force resending token is required when user do not receive the OTP and we want the server to send the OTP again that's why we need to store this in some variables so I'm gonna create some global variable here for verification ID verification ID and for the force resending token from uh, here so I'm just gonna copy this from here to here and I will rename this to token store the that resend token verification ID equals to s and in the token I will store the force resending token okay so this on code method is as I said going to be called when the code is sent to the user so as soon as the code OTP code is sent to the user then we want user to be able to type something in our activity this code enter edit text field needs to be uh, visible to the user so that user can enter the OTP when user click on this next button and uh, this process is going on on the background it might uh, freeze the UI for a few seconds because it is sending some code to handle that I'm going to display the progress bar so whenever the user click on next button I want to display the progress bar progress bar set visibility visible and uh, I'm going to display the state as well so using set visibility visible and before that I'm going to uh, set the message state message to this variable because we are sending the OTP now so it will display sending OTP 
it will request the OTP and this method is called here inside this whenever the code is sent right as soon as the code is sent to the user I will uh, hide the progress bar and the state message instead I will display the uh, field to enter the OTP okay I can use the same statement from the above and paste it here I will remove this one we don't need that and instead of visible I want to display gone because we want to uh, hide this we can also use invisible as well but I prefer using gone okay so as soon as the code is sent the progress bar and the state message is hidden and our code enter field is displayed to the user okay visible I'm gonna run this app and test if these uh, functions are working correctly or not and for this we need to use the test number that I have set at the beginning of this video in the first part where we created the fake phone number okay so note that phone number and let's run the app the app is running and here we have this op option to select the number okay so the test number that I have registered in the Firebase console is this number so I'm gonna note down this number type that same number here and we'll see what happens number okay and whenever I click on this next it should display the progress bar and the sending OTP message and once the on code send method is called that means OTP is sent it should display the um, edit text to enter the OTP okay so click on next it is sending displaying the message sending OTP now it is displaying the field to enter the OTP and here I can actually enter the OTP but it's not going to do anything because we have not implemented the logic yet okay so this is just to show the uh, demo how it's going to work